There are few things more obnoxious than trying to get your work done on your laptop but not being able to see anything on the screen because of a sunny glare. Or maybe you're entering your car after a long day at work and it's boiling hot from the sun beating down on it through the windows. Well, now issues of these may become a thing of the past thanks to an Israeli company called Gauzi. Joining us now is Eyal Peso, the CEO and co-founder of the company. Hi. Hello. All right, so let's begin. What is Gauzi? What have you guys created? So Gauzi is a startup uh, focused on material science and nanotechnology. We, uh, our vision is to embed technology into raw material. We're focused today on glass or maybe generally saying transparent raw materials to be able to control light through it. So that's relevant for many different uh, applications and industries. Of course, the building industry, like you mentioned, or the automotive, which we've been uh, working uh, uh, and partnering with big OEMs for a long time now, but also a variety of different home appliances, like a fridge door, which we are uh, creating. We're actually creating a see-through door so you don't have to open a refrigerator door to see what's inside, and by that, wasting a lot of energy because you know, many times you open a refrigerator door, you don't know what to take out, right. so it takes you like 60, 90 seconds to, to, to look. Yeah, so give us some more examples of, yeah. of, you know, the application. It's this technology that, you know, the reason we gave those examples was because you can create smart glass out of the technology that you've created. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we actually basically were developing liquid crystal materials that are then applied on thin film and embedded into glass. Uh, um, and by operating these liquid crystals, we can control light through it be it visible light so you can see or not see through the glass which is very important uh, in your house or in your office or so for not. those of us who you know the viewers that are watching this are thinking well why would I care about that I mean the fact of the matter is creating this type of technology does help the environment in many ways right also it's uh, it can actually just replace a curtain or a blind mechanical blind that mm -hmm. you everyone has at his home just embedded in the glass itself but it can also control the uh, infrared light which causes heat so we can control how much heat comes through a glass pane. Um, just to give you an example, if you have a high rise in Toronto, it's minus 30 outside, but the sun is shining, you'd like to let the sun in the uh, building to reduce cool, uh, heating costs. Right. But in the summer, it's the same building, it's plus 30 outside, and the sun is shining, you'd like to stop the infrared from coming in to reduce cooling costs. So that's where it's green. We actually can help uh, save a lot of energy uh, heating and cooling uh, uh, spaces in a building. Um, tinting glasses in, in, in a car, of course, everyone who's driving a car in Israel knows the problem of a lot of sun uh, mm -hmm. all year long. Absolutely. And we're, we enable, yeah, so we enable to tint the glasses of, uh, of, a pass of the passenger, uh, um, of passenger cars um, by a click of a switch. Uh, and it's probably also safer for the driver as well, right? Yeah. Because you can see more clearly. Now, how did you guys come up with this idea? I mean, it seems so basic. Obviously, it's not easy to create, but no. what was the thought process behind it? You know, like many things, it started by uh, trying to solve something in, uh, in my own house. The technology was there in some way, but it wasn't, you, can't, you couldn't approach it and have it like in a uh, consumer kind of uh, uh, product. And uh, we took it, we understood the issue, the problem. We understood that today you can make uh, raw material like glass smart with advanced materials like we're uh, developing the liquid crystals and uh, took it from there. But basically it came from trying to solve a simple uh, simple thing like uh, shading glass with no room for uh, a mechanical shade or blind Absolutely. in my uh, in a glass in a house. Well, and I mean it's so useful. I think especially in Israel, which is such a hot country, yeah. the sun is such an issue for so many people. Yeah. This is probably going to save a lot of lives. Mm -hmm. Now, what is next for your company? I mean, I've also seen a lot of news about companies that are working on uh, smart glass that you can actually touch and play with, yeah. right? And car windows. Yeah. Are you guys thinking of doing something like that, or do you have other? We're actually already you know? doing it. We okay. have uh, we have announced uh, quite a, a comprehensive partnership with Daimler, which is uh, Mercedes Benz, uh, just uh, two months ago, where we're actually uh, making a glass of a car into a display. Uh, it can be either transparent when you're driving it, or it can be a full-blown display with a touch uh, kind of option for uh, cars in, uh, uh, for, for instance, in car sharing where you need to order a car or you need to have some information on the glass of a car. So we're actually enabling smart displays on uh, uh, the car window itself. Well, it seems like you guys have created something that's going to have a lot of very real applications in the future. Thank yeah. you so much for coming in. Of course. Thank you.